textbook. Are you blowing it to study anatomy? I feel so good. <laughs> okay, so the muscles we have here, pectoralis major. Which is the pectoralis major? Very good. This big muscle here is the pectoralis major. Pectoralis minor is the smaller muscle right here. This one. Okay. So this is the pectoralis minor. Pectoralis minor is the small muscle here. Can anyone not see that wants to see? So this is the pectoralis minor. It's a small muscle on this side. We've actually removed the major to see the minor. So this big muscle here on this side is the pectoralis major. The pectoralis major, pectoralis minor. Serratus anterior. When I think of the serratus, I think of something that's got like edges, like a knife. So this is the serratus anterior. It's like this. It's like four or five fingers. It's got that sharp border, serrated. So this is the serratus anterior. Where would we look for the deltoid? Do you see it on this model? Other side. Very good. On the other side. So the deltoid is this thing right here. It is, you can't see it that well. Okay. So you would look and I don't I forgot to check and see if you can go back here. So but this one right here is the serratus anterior. So this is the serratus anterior. Over here you've got the deltoid. Trapezius. Where would I look for the trapezius and the latissimus dorsi? The back. back. So those two are back muscles. If you want to give yourself a hint, latissimus dorsi and trapezius are both back muscles. This is, see someone else has got an exam going. Um, this is the latis, uh, this is the trapezius, because if you had it on both sides, it would look like a trapezium, or tr whatever that shape is. And this is the latissimus dorsi. So latissimus dorsi, trapezius on the back. So is everyone comfortable with the muscles here? So you have the serratus anterior, which is this one right here. You have, what's this one? Let's do that one. Pectoralis minor. Major. So everyone's comfortable. Mm -hmm. okay, so then the, we move uh, on to, in the next column of muscles, the only ones you have to identify on <coughs> models are the infraspinatus and supraspinatus. Those are the only two that have to be ID. All the others are just questions. So where would we look for the diaphragm? Abdominal, very good. So the location for the diaphragm would be between the thoracic cavity and the abdominal cavity. What is its action? Separates the muscle. It's the main muscle of respiration, very good. Where would we look for the external and internal intercostals? Between the ribs. Between the ribs, very good. So the external and internal intercostals would be found between the ribs. That's what that means, intercostal, between ribs. How do you know which ones are external? Okay, so the, the question would be, um, name the superficial muscle that's found between the ribs. That would be external, and the deeper one is the internal. So that would, would not be something you would be identifying. I would describe it and you would identify it. So the external intercostal is the superficial muscle between the ribs, and the internal intercostal is the deep muscle between the ribs. What's the main function of the external intercostal? Inspiration. <laughs> helps with inspiration. It doesn't cause inspiration, but it helps with inspiration. And um, the other one is expiration. It helps with expiration. But if I were to ask you what is the main muscle of respiration? Diaphragm. The diaphragm. <coughs> okay, what function do the infraspinatus, supraspinatus, subscapularis, and teres minor have? Rotate. rotate. Very good. They help stabilize the shoulder, so they're all found around the shoulder. So location for all of them would be around the shoulder. And they are rotator cuff muscles that help to support the um, structure of your shoulder. Okay. What is this muscle? Supra. Yeah, supra. So this is the spine. So this would be the supraspinatus. This would be the infraspinatus. It's a very bad model. You're going to identify the supraspinatus and the infraspinatus. These are the two that you, you will get to identify, you may get to identify. Can't ask all of them right now. This would be the supraspinatus, this would be the infraspinatus. Okay. Stick with right there. And if I asked you what name a function of this muscle, that's the only question you want. Stabilizes the shoulder or it's a rotator cuff muscle. Either of those would be fine. So for those who don't need to know more, you can insert it. And then the last
last muscles on this worksheet are the muscles of the anterior abdominal wall, which are very cleverly arranged. Why is it important that we have this complex arrangement of muscles in the anterior abdominal wall? Connection. Strengthen and protect because there's no bones over here. Okay, so can you tell me this muscle? This is the rectus abdominis. Go straight up and down. And if the muscle goes straight down. up and down in the midline is the rectus abdominis. What were you saying? Oh, I, was, I always get that one backwards. It's abdominis rectus? Yeah, that's fine. As long as it's there. I, I search for those answers. Okay, and then what's this side? External, external oblique. External oblique. External oblique, yeah. Yeah, this one. The hands, the fibers are going down and inside as if you're putting your hands in your pocket. Now, if I put it on this side, this does not look like anyone's putting their hands in their, fi in their pockets. It's going up. And so, superior and medially is the way the fibers of internal oblique go. So, this is internal oblique because it goes upwards and inwards. And this is external oblique because it goes downwards and inwards. Now, I will not do this, but those of you who are curious after all of this, this muscle right here is the transversus abdominis. Its fibers go straight horizontal. So the way you would get a question about the transversus abdominis is, what is the um, innermost abdominal muscles whose fibers um, run horizontally? You would get it. I would describe it to you, and you would have to identify it. Right, because I'm not going to take it off. Okay, so that's the first muscle.